Hi. I'll start um, shortly, but what I'll do, because uh, I absolutely hate when people are just like fanny arsing around when <laughs> starting lives. <laughs> so what I'll do is I will start briefly about introducing myself and then uh, we'll go on to talk about um, radio frequency microneedling and go over some of the questions that uh, you have dropped in. I will try my best not to keep looking <laughs> down there but thank you very much for saying hello um, and pop any questions that you might have. I think you can do that um, in a little section um, if, you, if they arise um, but I don't want to get distracted because um, I want to keep it engaging. So um, hello for the people that don't know me, I am Dr Cara. My full name is Dr. Cara Dawson. I have been a doctor for over 13 years. It makes me feel old, even though I'm not old. I know I'm not. Um, and I've been in aesthetics for over seven years. I have got my own clinic in lovely Norwich. Uh, I've been in there for over th how many years now? I think over three years um, now, and I love it. Um, what else can I tell you about myself? Um, my clinic is externally regulated at the moment that's voluntary for clinics to do that but I'm regulated by safe face that means that my clinics met, met certain standards to make sure that I'm um, providing um, top level of care um, and what else can I tell you about me and another thing that would be really good for everyone to know as well for and to look for in a practitioner is to make sure that your practitioner is a part of a complications um, expert group. So I'm a member of um, ACE. So if anything arises complication wise or if I want to have any advice and guidance, then I have that 24 seven. And that's an important thing to look for if you're looking for a clinic. So I've got a few of you on here, so I won't keep um, going on about um, myself. Uh, I will go on about radio frequency microneedling. So I have completed my training today pure, with Pure Derma. They have supplied the lovely machine like I've got here, as you can see in the background. Um, they delivered it uh, yesterday. Um, training was with a lovely girl called Laura who um, went over the lots of theory and then we've gone over um, and performed the treatment on two models today. So one for the face, neck and chest and the other one was for an abdominal treatment. Um, so she had the whole uh, tummy um, treated and that was for uh, stretch marks and um, skin laxity. So the treatment is not just for um, your face and neck, it can be used all over your body, any areas that you wish to firm and contour, it will help. So I suppose the best thing to do is to start with um, talking about actually what it does. Um, so radio frequency microneedling is not new, it's been around for a while. There's lots of um, different uh, brands of machines on the market, but they all pretty much do the same thing. So to explain how it would um, come about and how it would work for you. So the device um, creates micro trauma to your skin. You don't necessarily have to have your skin numb. Sometimes that is um, necessary for certain treatments. This is actually really comfortable treatment for the two models that I'm, I performed on today. You can lessen um, the micro trauma to your skin if you're finding it particularly uncomfortable though. So there's always options for you. When the um, device punctures the skin, because that's how it makes the um, trauma to the skin, it's with micro needles. They are super, super fine, uh, 0.12 millimeters um, uh, like size. They will then deliver energy to, depending on how deep you want on your skin. So it can either go um, in your um, dermis layer or it can go just below um, your dermis layer called your hypodermis, um, depending on how um, firm you want to, um, you know, contour the face and, and lift the, the face or um, body. Now, the, it will transfer heat through this device to your skin and that creates... Um, a controlled way of um, inducing you to make more collagen and elastin, but it can also melt unwanted fat away. And this is for me, the reason why I um, decided to invest in this um, treatment, because for certain people, 
there will be only so much you can do with um, dermal filler and Botox and skin boosting treatments and, and conventional microneedling before you then realise that you really want to um, firm up that tissue and um, basically tackle laxity in your skin because you've got to remember that you age in all different layers of your face. So it's particularly great for people that have, say, you know, saggy um, upper um, eyelids, if you've got static lines on your, like anywhere on your face um, or, or body, stretch marks, like I've said, if you've got scarring, so particularly if you've got problems with um, acne, then that would be a great um, treatment for you. And then um, the other thing I've just mentioned as well as saying that it will help with um, contouring the, the face. So if you've got particularly big, like say jowls, which have a fatty component to them, which most people's do, then this will be able to be a way of you melting that fat away. And this would be permanent, unless obviously that your weight decided to fluctuate. Obviously you will continue to age, so you've got to uh, remember that this is a maintenance type of treatment. It's a, I would liken it to a stopgap between um, you thinking to, wanting to go say under the knife, so before having something like a facelift, if that's something that you were thinking about doing. But it's a super exciting treatment. I um, am really, really excited about seeing results. So let's see, let's talk about you know, when to expect results. So you're normally needing a minimum of three treatments. So you're not going to get results straight away from one. Of course, if you just wanted to try one because you're a bit hesitant, um, then of course to do that. And you're gonna have to wait about eight to 12 weeks to see um, the effect of that. And that's because the treatment is inducing you to make more collagen and elastin, but it's also remodeling your skin's tissues. You can only say heal so quickly. So that's why you've got to wait eight to 12 weeks. So if you were planning to, to have like you know, a big, big event and you want to look your best, um, then you'd want to start probably about six months before so that you've got enough time to have your treatment. Your treatments are going to be about four to six weeks apart. Um, so you've got to factor that in. Um, and that's pretty much it so, so that you know how, how many treatments you're going to have. For instance, though, if you did have significant laxity to your skin, so if you're in your, say, 50s, 60s, 70s, you then probably want to have more treatments, more, say, three to six. Um, so it's just kind of managing, say, your expectations of what to um, pay up for. So things, um, I had a few questions about say what to um, expect when you have the treatment. Now, my um, first model was a little bit, say nervous, and they had, um, I've treated them before, and they've said to me that they've got quite a, um, a reduced pain um, threshold. So I thought they, maybe they were going to find it a bit uncomfortable. Actually, they found it really tolerable. They've likened it to more to, um, it's almost like being slightly pinched, but it only lasts like a second. Um, and how it um, works is you'll place the device on your skin. It um, has a little suction um, pad on it and it will suck your skin up. So it's very accurate when it's uh, providing the micro needles to your skin and the radio frequency. And yeah, it just feels like a pinch and then you just move on. So you'll be having your um, skin, uh, you know, radio frequency micro needles um, over a certain number of times. So that's normally about three times, but it depends on your skin's response. So if your skin is showing a good response, so it will become um, red and you might have the tiniest bit of, um, say, blood spatter on your skin. It will then um, mean that we don't have to go over and do, say, um, the total of the three passes. That doesn't mean that you're not getting um, the enough treatment. It just means that your skin has responded sufficiently enough that we've caused that enough microtrauma to then create the significant healing response that we're looking for and getting you those results into, you know, eight to 12 weeks time. Um, so they, I also had a question of saying, you know, what's the downtime? So... Fortunate thing is I checked in with my um, model, uh, first model, and they'd had their face, neck, and their chest, uh, um, radio frequency microneedles. And uh, within about 
an hour, an hour and a half, they're back to normal. You might have had a slight light pink um, area on their um, neck and chest, but if you didn't know them and you were going to say to see them on the street, you wouldn't have um, been able to say tell that they've had the treatment. Now, I offer um, a, a skin pen microneedling um, prior to this, so comparatively, the speed of um, recovery, I was super, super impressed. Um, I've, I couldn't believe it, to be honest, like how they'd kind of gone from looking quite, say, red. You've got little kind of sometimes little suction uh, outlines of where the, the um, um, uh, radio frequency microneedle has been. But they were back to, like I said, back to normal in about an hour and a half. Now, why that happens is because you're um, heating the, the skin in a controlled way which you know, when I talk about heating it's not like you're being like boiled alive or anything like that you know it's a, a comfortable heat to your skin it cauterizes so that means it seals off when you uh, microneedle the skin different to what with things like skin pen um, microneedling that I offer which is the motor device that will just microneedle your skin and you have to wait for your own body to heal itself over again, which takes normally about 48 to 72 hours. And you are bright red, you do look more like a, a bright red tomato and you're not going to be like as quickly um, back to normal as this um, radio frequency microneedling machine um, does. So you might think, well, is that then doing something then? Yes, it's just the fact that it's sealed over the top layers of your skin so you can just kind of go about your, your business and just, yeah, not look like a bright red tomato, which looks which is always a, a bonus, isn't it? So, great. So I think I've spoken about, because I had another question saying about the recovery process. Now, I know I was only saying it's just, it's that one model that um, I, I've spoken and checked in with, but... The trainer today said that um, you're normally, most people will recover within about 24 hours. Don't get me wrong, there will be the odd person that will, you know, take, you know, 48 hours to 72 to for it to fully go down. But you're not supposed to be, say, you know, red, flushed, slightly swollen um, for that duration of time. So you will be getting better. But the majority of people will, um, you know, be back to normal within 24 hours. So it's quite a good treatment to have if you, um, you know, say maybe on a weekend when you've got like, say, a day off um, for, from your work and you don't have anything to do. Important just to go over quickly the um, downtime with this. Yes, I've spoken to you about you being red um, and then obviously it getting better quickly, but you've still got to realise that your um, face is a open wound. And they say for you that, you know, after 24 hours, the uh, microtrauma, so the, the injection ports that, that's happened to your skin, it closes off after about five hours, but you normally say 24 hours to be fully safe. So you've got to think you can't be then going to do anything dirty. You don't want to be doing any like exercise, no alcohol for 24 hours. Um, normally, if you can kind of eke out, you want your skin to have been like fully, fully recovered because if it's still slightly swollen, doing any kind of exercise, taking alcohol, that will cause um, potential swelling to get worse. So they kind of factor these things in. You want your skin to be treated gently, so you have to just use a gentle cleanser, uh, moisturiser and SPF um, until your skin's fully settled. And that can take slightly longer. So even though you, you're not going to say look bright red um, or you know look obviously like you've had a treatment, it's going to take you probably about seven days, seven to ten days to kind of get back to your normal. And then if you're using, say, um, active skincare, things like retinol, um, serums like vitamin C, all this other type of stuff, then you can introduce them after that. So I think, you know, it's, I, I would like it to really easy treatment to, to have done. You've just got to factor in um, that you've got to have, say, three treatments and they've got to be around about four to six weeks apart. And that is because you want to, say, ride the kind of collagen-inducing um, wave where it will be then firming up your tissues and getting better and better effect, um, say, each time. Most people um, will say they want a maintenance. So you could have, so the trainer said today that you could have a maintenance every um, three months. Now, that's your choice if you want to do that. You could spread it. 
after you've said um, had a course of treatment so if you've done say three treatments and then you go okay i want to maintain my effect okay i'm going to have um, a treatment done every three months just to kind of keep on top of it you could eke it out to every six months there are people that would want to then have it say annually that's fine but you'd may need to then go back to saying you have your full course of treatment again and then you might think well actually that's a bit say not annoying but you know the frequencies of treatments might become an issue perhaps um the duration of your treatment though or how long your results should last so from a a collagen inducing um, point of view it should last you anywhere between 12 and 18 months it could last slightly longer and shorter depending on say lifestyle factors things like stress smoking alcohol consumption um you know general say skin care that what you're doing but if it was for something like um uh, your say acne scarring um, any types of scarring um on you then the results should be say permanent um because you know unless you're obviously having a triggering factor that can cause more scarring then i wouldn't expect it to um uh, come back so you know it's it all depends on what you're say doing it for so just to say recap the reason why I've introduced it to my clinic is because I found that there is only so much that dermal filler, Botox and skin boosters can do before, um, you know, you're just kind of masking the the, the signs of aging where what I wanted to do and what my focus is on is trying to make people look, say, fresher, more natural and actually treat, actively treat the, the cause of your aging, which is that your collagen is going down, everything is getting, say, lax. You might be having your, say, cheek fat pads that are sinking. We can melt that away we can firm your skin tissue we can actively get rid of um scar tissue you know there was a gap that i wanted to fill and i find that that's where radio frequency microneedling comes in um so yeah so i'm super excited i am uh, thoroughly gutted that i am <laughs> breastfeeding have i mentioned it to anyone <laughs> I am trying guys, I am trying to stop it. But anyway, TMI, um, I can't wait to say have the, the treatment, but I'll let me talk um, briefly about the people that can have the treatment and that are on my um, mailing list. So if you want to join my mailing list, you still can. I am going to um, uh, put basically the mailing list uh, out to next week and it will have an introductory offer on there. I will be adding in extra clinic dates because i am already ramoed and um, technical term uh so i want to obviously get it out there for people and i want people to um basically obviously have that treatment now um just so I've just got some other questions that are coming in. Um, and I agree that the, the treatment does sound in incredible and it is incredible because if you head to my um, page, you'll see some results um, of well, the treatment anyway. But really, really um, useful question that's been asked. Um, it said, who shouldn't have this treatment? So technically, every single person, regardless of their skin type and tone, so if you've got a darker skin tone or if you're um, on the paler side, every single person should be able to have it. And the reason being is the trauma that it does to your skin and how it delivers the radio frequency um, to your, your skin's tissues, it creates an even level of energy throughout. It doesn't create um, too much of a focused point of um, injury to your skin. And that is important for people that say have more darker skin tones or are more likely to have hyperpigmentation, so post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, PIH. And it, so basically you, you should be fine if you are, say, have a darker uh, skin tone. And don't really get me wrong, like it's, it cannot be, say, 100%. But what you can do is to manage that risk, especially as when you first have your, um, say, your initial treatment, you will be looking... Um, when you're going over the uh, person's um, skin surface to see what kind of um, erythema, so basically it's the redness and inflammation that you're causing, you'll then judge to see whether you're going to be increasing that energy delivery to that person's skin. So you can pretty much gauge like how much trauma you're causing. So 
for someone that's say a darker skin tone, you might be say a little bit more cautious initially, and then you could then when you come and review them in say four, four to six weeks time, you might be able to build on it. Now there might be limitations because if for instance you've had post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation before, you might be extra cautious because if you were to cause that, it can take you up to six months to for that to completely go but remember this is something that happens to people that have say darker skin tone so much more darker say than myself i've got more von olivia more pale and interesting at the moment because of my winter shade but um you know it's darker skin types that are more at risk of this so i think i've um answered that question as best as i can but the trainer definitely that's one of the first things i asked was you know can i use it on like everyone and they said yes yes we yes you can so um just to talk to, talk to you about um just to go over some things like pricing so just give you a, a bit of a gauge because you know people want to know um the prices it's not i'm not going to be um hide away from that so it can range depending on how big um of an area that you're going to do now my um uh, guys is that if you're going to do it you might as well just do you say your whole face um your whole face neck and, and chest uh, but you can have small areas treated if you wanted to so for instance if your um, upper or lower um, eye area was a concern you wanted to firm it up and that's the only thing you wanted to treat then the cost can vary so it can be anywhere from say 275 um, up to 475 for instance if you were doing someone say whole abdomen um you know from stretch marks and scarring so but you will get um a discount if you're um saying uh, buying say a course of treatment so if you're doing a course of say three or four you'll get a um, discount applied like i said there is still space for people on my mailing list um, if you want to join my mailing list, you can either um, DM me um, via my social media page or you can um, email. Um, now, my email is in my um, uh, link in my bio, but it's hello, so H E L L O at Dr. Cara, so that's D R K A R A dot co dot UK. And, you, and I'll just add you on, and like I said, next week. Um, at some point when I firm myself up uh, with all the details you'll have an introductory offer I'll add in extra clinic dates for you um, and then we can get you started with your treatments but like I said I'm gutted I really want this treatment <laughs> I you know stopping breastfeeding can come soon enough um, but you know for me like even when I look at myself here I know everyone's always um, hypercritical of themselves but, you know, I would love to tighten up my um, jawline. I know, you know, everyone would be like, oh, you don't need to do that or hope that they say that or whatever. But, you know, that would be why I'd want to do it. And then obviously it'd just be great just to, you know, overall tighten my skin and boost my collagen because it's, you know, goes down from the age of 25 um, and just really kind of just help to um, slow down the aging process. And that's in essence what it wants to do. Now, obviously, on my own page, you can see that people have had, um, you know, all over the country that have had this treatment. And I think one of the most um, popular uh, figures of this is, I think it's a lady from, uh, I think it's from, uh, what's it, something kind of housewives, housewives of Cheshire, something like that. Um, and she'd had the treatment done and I, I stalked her because um, that's what I do. <laughs> I like to make sure that the results are, um, you know, tipped off and, and reliable. I want to make sure that, you know, they're not um, you know, like really sucking up their tongue to their, their roof of their mouth to try to really tighten the jawline. I want to watch them when they're talking and everything. So just bear with me. I am like super analytical and making sure. So anyway, I talked to her and I made sure that her results were as they were. And she said, you know, I look five years younger. I My face is so much firmer. And I agree, like she was talking, I could tell that her jawline was so much firmer and, and tall. And it wasn't the result of, you know, like trying to put more um, dermal filler in or because sometimes there's only a limit of how much what you can do. And don't get me wrong, there's still going to be a place for um, dermal filler you know to replace age-related volume loss you know there is nothing say that in compact like as in comparison and to replace it but together to have dermal filler you know sprinkle a little bit and then to firm up your tissues with radiofrequency 
you're going to look like you did, like say, but five years you know, previous. And it's just a way of make, keeping you looking natural rather than say going past that point of like be it looking overfilled. Now I've just had another little question. I just wanna make sure. So said, uh, is it crucial to stay strictly out of the sun after the treatment? Just wondering about scheduling holidays over summer. Really, really good, um, really, really good question. So anything that transfers heat to your skin after you've had your um, skin radio frequency microneedled technically could mean that you're at risk of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and that's because you're adding extra inflammation to your skin so you'd want to wait probably about two weeks before then scheduling your holiday to then you know either side so that you don't want to then cause yourself a risk of that um but yeah it should be absolutely fine for you to kind of like get that all in and work it around but it's not like a problem say with say, something like a, a peel which might go too deep or anything like that and again that's us being ultra ultra cautious your skin will heal and heal over like I said quite quickly and that's normally within about 72 hours but like I said I'm just trying to be extra cautious with you and obviously if you're going on holiday you don't really want to be tanning your face because you know that's premature aging but anyway I won't go on about it <laughs> You know, my I keep, I keep saying to you, like, wear SPF all the time. Keep your face out of the sun. You don't want to prematurely age. But, yeah, you are you should be fine after um, uh, two weeks just to be safe. So, guys, I am going to have to go. Um, thank you for all that have joined. This should technically go up um, on my page. So, fingers crossed. I'll be able to um, put it on. So if you haven't um, been able to join the full um, brief, you'll be able to um, re-watch it. And like I said, if you want to join my mailing list, then either email me at hello at drcara.co.uk or um, you can DM me. Um, and if you can't find my email address or whatever, just go on my website. So that's www.drcara.co.uk. Anyway, thanks, guys. Love you. <laughs>